on a charm offensive, shoring up the French Republic in New Caledonia. In six months' time, French citizens here will vote on independence. A yes is not something this president wants. People have to decide freely, but I, I would just say, that's time to choice. We will organise for elections, but here is the ambition of France in the region. For Australia, New Caledonia being French means a nuclear-powered ally with a permanent seat on the UN Security Council. I want to convey as well the ambition of France in the region, in the Indo-Pacific region. That's why I described three days ago in Australia with Prime Minister Turnbull. We, we now have a strong strategy, the Paris New Delhi Canberra axis, and I do want to pursue this uh, this, uh, this initiative and this strategy from a geopolitical, a trade, a climate point of view. Colonised by France in 1853, at stake is a vital foothold in the Pacific as China amplifies its presence in the region. Australia has been spending a lot of time and energy developing a new or an enhanced economic and strategic relationship with France. So having them right there, including with a naval presence that may possibly be increased, is going to be important. A symbolic visit to the scene of a hostage crisis 30 years ago, where pro-independence Canucks kidnapped French officials. It ended in bloodshed, leaving 19 Canucks and six French security personnel dead. But the fallout brought the independence referendum into being. 30 years ago, we had a very, a very tough attack with a lot of victims. So it's very important to reconcile everybody, which is a precondition of a fair referendum. Canucks are demanding independence, but make up only 40% of the 280,000 population of this former penal colony. After being fated on this tour in the US and Australia, Mr Macron is due back in Paris tonight, buoyed by opinion polls suggesting the no vote will win. Stefan Armbruster, SBS World News.